Friends, today we're going to fix the handle on a laundry basket using Tinkercad Inkscape and a normal scanner. So let's get cracking. All right, so step one was to come out here with paper and a pen, and I just traced the area that was broke. And step two was to simply put it in my flatbed scanner. So with that shape traced by hand and placed in the scanner, I'm going to launch the scanner app. I've got mine right here. All we do is simply click on it and choose scan. Bingo. It only takes a moment. You can hear the scanner making noise in the background. And there it is, done. With that completed, I'm going to close that tool. And we're going to launch our second tool. It is Inkscape. It is totally free, and I've added mine to my taskbar just because it's so handy. Of course, you could easily create a new document, but I actually want to open a project. I know that that scan app automatically goes to the pictures, and it goes to scans, and we can simply open it. It does pop up a dialog box, and it lets us choose the import type DPI. I'm just going to say OK on this. And now let me show you how easily we can turn this rough sketch into the part we're going to use. Over on our tools, we want to slide down and we want to choose the pen tool. This lets us draw bezier curves and straight lines. Check this out. We just click and then you move to the next point. If you want it to bend a little bit, you click and hold. And then as you drag, you can make it follow the shape you're building. So right here, I'm going to click near the middle, stretch it just a little bit so it looks the way I want. I'm going to click again down here. Once again, it's trying to follow it as close as it can. And I'm going to click and bend. I'm going to choose to make this come down here. Once again, click and hold so I can twist it a little. I'm going to click all the way down across here. You'll note that one I did not click and hold so it stayed straight. And I'm going to click and hold to get that final shape. That is that outside in just a moment. And then we're gonna repeat those steps once again. Click and hold. I think this is the line that I wanna trace. Once again, click and hold. Click, hold, and drag. And then finally, click. So that is our basic shape. Now let me show you how we modify it. This right here is the node tool. Now we can click on this and we can take these handles and we can adjust them to get exactly what we want. If you notice right now, those two are linked. If you don't want them to be linked, click on the node and then move over here and switch it. This one makes them a corner. This one makes them smooth. This one makes them symmetrical. And this one turns on auto smooth. I'll try auto smooth and then I can adjust them and see if I can get them to work the way I want. That's pretty cool. I can also get this closer to the middle. Of course, if you misclick, you can just switch it. I'm going to switch to one of these so you can just see how then they operate separately. When you're happy with your design, which this is going to be fine for what I'm trying to do, just fixing that laundry basket, the next thing I want to do is change my fill and stroke. So I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to go to the fill and stroke menu. If you do not have these available over here, you can simply find them by clicking on object and there is the fill and stroke menu. On fill and stroke, I wanna to go to stroke style. I'm gonna to switch to millimeters and I wanna make my stroke one millimeter. That way I can see it a lot better. And then under stroke paint, I wanna fill it with black. Once again, you could try and make this as perfect as you want. I do not need to for my project. I just want it to come back to life. When you are happy, it's time to export it. Same thing, I've got the menu over here. If you don't have it up, you can do File Export. From the Export, I wanna choose Export Selected Only. I wanna to switch to a plain SVG, and then you need to pick a folder to put it in. I'm gonna store mine in my Downloads folder, and I'm gonna call it Handle. Of course, I've already done this once. I'm going to just name this one Handle 2 and hit save. All right, so before we go any further, let's check the actual measurement. We are looking for something that is about 200 millimeters when we're finished. I'll show you where we use that in just a little bit. At this point, you'd move to Tinkercad and hit Create New 3D Design. I have already created it, so I'm going to click on mine and we'll tinker it. 
This is the final shape. Let me show you how I got to this spot. I'm going to click on this right now and hide it. And we're going to click import and we're going to choose a file to bring in. In my downloads folder, we've got that handle. I'm going to open the one I made the other day and I'm going to just choose open. We want the art. All right, notice this is the long side. This is where we bring in that number before. I'm going to type 210 and press enter. These snap to those same measurements, and now we can import our handle. Just like that, friends, you've got your handle. I decided to print these in two different sizes. The first time I did one millimeter thick. The second one I did two millimeters thick. That way it was a little bit stronger. I don't know which one I like better yet, but they did both work, as you can see, because they are attached to the case. I am going to delete this one now that you've seen how it works. I'm going to bring back my other one and let me show you the other modifications I made. So if we ungroup this, you'll notice I used a hole. And when we grouped it, I was able to cut out that section because I didn't feel like I needed strength under it. I only needed the strength added on the handle where it had been cut. I'm going to ungroup this again. I also added these little cylinders. That's where I was going to attach screws. So I did do one other measurement. I went over and checked this hole and found out it was 140. So I simply stretched a cube out to 140. And then I made sure that the gap where the handle was going to be was the same. Notice I just rotated that. When I stuck it in, it fit well enough. If I were adjusting this, I would just hold it and I would do shift stretch to scale it so it had the exact dimensions I wanted. I did end up deleting that part, but at least that way you can see it there. Then I just selected everything and did control G to group it. Bingo, handle created. Final step was to export it for 3D printing. You can see I save it as an STL. I put it in my 3D modeling folder and you can see this is basket fix one and this is basket fix two. Of course, since I already saved it, I'm just going to cancel. So there you have it friends, basket fixed. Inkscape, Scanner, Tinkercad, and in no time that project is solved. Now I'm not going to reprint that because I've already got it all done. Why waste the plastic? If you've never actually printed stuff, I'll make sure I have videos in the cards that show how to do basic printer steps. Friends, I do also want to highlight that not only did I screw that on there, I also used Gorilla Glue Clear Grip. I love this when working with PLA, and I think it's going to work fine with the basket as well. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check this video, it explains all about it. And if you check the bottom, you will find a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It will get you 25% off any course on the site. Of course, you can visit the site by simply clicking the link. Friends, of course, I do want to remind you about the sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.